Hello learners, welcome to week 5 of BEDS 001. This is the course Overview and Perspectives of Values. Today we are in week 5, section 1. In today's lecture, we will be discussing culture, different components of Indian culture. What do we mean by culture? The most widely accepted definition of culture is the definition given by Taylor in which he defines culture as a wide ranging set of activities that feature in all human societies. The word culture therefore may mean a set of ideas, beliefs, values, knowledge, behavior, education of a particular society. UNESCO's Universal Declaration on Cultural Diversity adopted in November 2001 UNESCO defines culture as a set of distinctive spiritual, material, intellectual and emotional features of a society or social group that encompasses in addition to art and literature, lifestyle, ways of living together, value systems, traditions and beliefs. So when we talk about culture, culture talks about literature, arts, music, dance, values, it also talks about beliefs, ideas, customs, traditions and so on. So when we talk about culture, culture can also be divided into what is called material culture as well as non-material culture. When we talk about material culture, material culture would be the buildings, it would be the bridges, then the architecture and so on. It is something which Usually you can see with your eyes which is in front of you. For example, in India the very famous Taj Mahal, then India Gate, then you have the Gate A of India and so on. These would be your material culture. These are some of the monuments, some of the buildings, architecture which you can see with your own eyes. So these are called material culture. On the other hand, you have what is called non-material culture. These are your beliefs, your customs, ideas and so on. So when we talk about non-material culture, non-material culture would be something which you have in you, which usually cannot be seen with your eyes, but then it, it is in you, you practice it, you absorb it and you pass it on to others. So these are non-material culture. So when you talk about culture, cultural attainments are thus not inborn but acquired over a period of time through socialization and learning. For example, when a child is born, there are certain values, there are certain customs, beliefs, ideas which is passed on from the parents, the, grand, the grandparents to the child. So these values, these beliefs and ideas are acquired over a period of time through socialization and learning through the parents, through the grandparents, um, through, the, uh, through the neighbors and so on. Therefore, when we talk about culture, culture constitutes the spiritual, material, emotional, intellectual aspects of, of a society along with language, literature, arts, music, dance, values, beliefs, ideas, customs, traditions and the like. When I first begin this uh, lecture week 5, I said today we will, we will be discussing culture and the different components of Indian culture. When we talk about Indian culture, Indian culture is influenced by its unique geographical features. India is a peninsula with five geographical divisions and these are the mountains of northern India which are mainly the Himalayan mountain range, the northern plains in the river valleys of the Indus, Ganga, Brahmaputra, the central Indian plateau, the south Indian plateau and the coastal regions. So when we talk about India, Indian culture or when we say uh, the geographical divisions of uh, 
India. These are the five geographical divisions, and uh, it is in they have a unique feature. These regions have a unique feature when it comes to the cultural aspects. That is, the the northern India, which consists consist of the Himalayan mountain region, then you have the northern plains, you have the central Indian plateau, the south Indian plateau and the coastal regions. Indian art, architecture, spirituality, music, dance are all influenced by these geographical features. South of the Vindhyas, the distinct Dravindian culture is developed which is different from the northern Aryan culture. Indian culture, apart from these five distinct geographical divisions, Indian culture has influenced Asia, Southeast Asia and many parts of the world. When we talk about Indian culture, the civilization, that is Indian civilization, how these unique and distinct cultural aspects of Indian civilization can be traced back to as early as BC 2800 with the highly developed urban Harappan civilization followed by the rural based Aryan civilization. The foreign invasions of the Greeks, the Sakas, the Kushanas, the Huns, the civilization of the Guptas, Mauryas in the Asian period and the Arab invasion of the 8th century AD the Sultanate, the high flowering of Indian Muslim civilization of the great Mughals. So when we talk about Indian civilization and when we talk about the distinct Indian culture, we can trace back civilization of India, Indian civilization back to as, as early as BC 2800 when we have what is called the Harappan civilization, the Aryan civilization and then we had uh, the uh, invasions of the Greeks, the Kushanas, the Huns and then you have the rule of the Guptas, the Mauryans, the Arab, in, uh, the Arab invasion, the Sultanate and then the Mughals. So these is what made up what is called Indian civilization. There were certain features which were taken from these invasion or from these civilization and there are some distinct features of these civilization which are existing in India till today. Uh, let me uh, give you an example. You have a lot of monuments which have been uh, built during the Mughal period. Then you have a certain architectural wonders which were which was which are still existing. Uh, you can you can see that there are certain uh, distinct features of the Harappan civilization which have been discovered recently. So all these uh, are part of culture uh, which are still to some extent existing in our country today. This was the early civilization when we talk uh, when we talk about the early Indian civilization which. Uh, date uh, back to dates back to around um, 2800 BC. Then we move on to what is the medieval period. Then we have the Western influence during the British rule in the modern period, which have influenced the Indian culture. This assimilation and absorption can be seen in the country's religion, art, architecture, language, and different lifestyle. When we talk about what is called the western influence that is the British rule which can be defined as the modern period which have uh, influenced the Indian culture in a very big way because the rule of the British came with the uh, what we call the East India Company and slowly gradually the whole of the British was or can be seen in full force in India. So when we talk about Western, uh, Western influence, we are mainly talking about the British rule which ruled India for a very long time and this particular full force of Western influence that is British rule can be seen in 
the absorption in the country's religion, art, architecture, language and different lifestyles. You can see a lot of changes in the country with the influence of the British rule because of the British rule you have uh, English language becoming very popular, you have western lifestyle, western ways of dressing, then English language also was given prominence because of the western rule and so, uh, and so on. So even now after we got independence in 1947 after the end of the British rule we can see that a lot of influence of the British rule still remains in India today. You can see language that is uh, uh, you can see that the language that uh, the British have brought with them the English language uh, is still very prominent then you have western lifestyles which is very prominent and also religion Christianity which came uh, uh, to a large extent because of the British rule in India and also uh, when we talk about the architecture when we talk about the monuments all the buildings built by the British we can see a lot of them still existing in India today so there has been a lot of influence in terms of the British rule uh, in the form of what is called material culture as well as non-material culture in art and architecture when we talk about art and architecture which is also part of culture in the beginning I have talked about what is material culture and what is non-material culture when we talk of art and architecture this will be mainly what is called your material culture that is the the monuments the buildings the paintings which you can see with your own eyes so the best example of the influence of the Greek style on Buddhist theme was the Gandhara school of art the Indo-Islamic synthesis can be seen in the different regional schools of art such as the Kangra Deccan and Mughal styles of painting and in architecture too so when we talk about material culture a lot of influence uh, is through the Greek style which had mainly Buddhist themes and this was called the Gandhara school of art and there were also various different regional school of art such as the Kangra, the Deccan and Mughal styles of pa uh, painting which was influenced or, or from the invasion or the rule of the Greeks and the others. On the other hand when we talk about non-material culture language will be part of your non-material culture then I also talked about the values, the ideas, the customs, uh, knowledge which is passed on from generation to genera uh, generation would be your non-material culture. When we talk about uh, language, the Indian language Urdu was also the result of the Persian influence. The contribution of other civilization to Indian life and culture creates in Indians the idea that the whole world is a family that is Vasudhava Kutumbakam which means that the world is one big family you cannot live in a world where you are isolated from others because your culture is influenced by others and you also influence other culture you cannot live in an island because in today's world you live in a global world you take sometimes the cultural ideas of other society and also on the other hand you also pass on your cultural ideas or your culture to I, um, other societies so when we talk about the whole world is a family that is Vasudhava Katumbakam it means that the whole world is one family you cannot separate yourself from others for example when we talk about respect for others respect for the elders especially it is a very one of the very distinct uh, feature of Indian culture but then it does not uh, uh, mean that only Indians follow these culture of respecting the elders this culture this particular aspect of uh, respecting the elders is also existing in other societies 
of the world it also exists in other cultures so when we talk about uniqueness identity culture ideas knowledge values we see that each society each culture have their distinctive style they have their uniqueness however uh, because of this phenomenon where the world has become one global village you see that cultural ideas culture uh, cultural attributes have passed on from one society to the other and also you imbibe a lot of uh, cultural uh, ideas from others as well the value of universal brotherhood has been nurtured in this way there is linguistic religious diversity which coexist simultaneously with a fundamental unity and that makes it unique there may be subcultures of different religions languages but there is one national culture that is the indian culture which has influenced asia south asia and many other parts of the world so when we talk about indian culture we are one country within our country there are many subcultures we have uh, people from the north east we have people from the northern parts of india western parts of india southern parts of india they have the, their own uniqueness they have their own religious linguistic identity which coexist simultaneously and we have this very beautiful feature of a indian culture where we say in uh, unity in diversity the value of universal brotherhood has been nurtured in this way we live in a country which is unique because there is so many diversity but there is unity in this diversity we have a lot of subcultures of different religions of different uh, languages but then we are under one national culture that is we are under one one united indian culture when we talk about different components of indian culture let me give you a brief insight into the different components of indian culture these are religion food habits society music dance art and architecture these are the different components of indian culture which defines what indian culture is we like i said we as indians have you know there are different uh, people who follow different religion then we have different food habits we have different uh, kinds of music dance art and architecture but there is the beauty the beauty of indian culture is that it is unity and diversity and there is this universal brotherhood which is the indianness of it all that is we are united in spite of the diversity i will be discussing the different components of indian culture in the next lecture in today's lecture we have talked about culture and the different components of indian culture i have thrown light into what is called uh, the uniqueness uh, the uniqueness of culture where i say that culture is a wide ranging set of activities that is a set of ideas beliefs value knowledge behavior then i also talked about culture which are material as well as non material culture when we i talk about material culture it uh, it is the uh, architecture the buildings the monuments the bridges and when i talk about the non material culture it is the ideas the knowledge the languages the beliefs the value system existing in different societies so this is what is meant by culture and i have talked how uh, the five geographical divisions in india has a uniqueness about them these unique geographical features have influenced indian culture where i talked about the mountains the five uh, geographical divisions are the mountains of the northern india which consist of the himalayan mountain region then we have the northern plains then the central indian plateau the south indian plateau and the coastal regions so the uniqueness of indian uh, culture is that the civilization date back to as early as bc 2800 and the civilization the culture of india has been influenced by the uh, 
uh, Harappan civilization and also uh, the invasion of the Greeks, the Guptas, the Mauryans, the Arab invasion, the Mughals and the British also have influenced Indian culture in the form of the monuments, in the form of the, the, the buildings, in the form of the language, the religion, the lifestyle, the food habits and so on. So today's lecture has covered what is culture and different components of Indian culture. The second part that is the different components of Indian culture would be explained elaborately in the next class. Thank you so much.